when trying to make graphs and finding shapes and linearizing, um, I find the best way is to use uh, programs that are out there. Uh, I'll show you how to use Excel, uh, which is on pretty much every uh, desktop uh, for the most part. Uh, we'll look at graphical analysis. The computers in my classroom and my own personal laptop that I'm using right now have, uh, they both have an older version. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use a newer version um, to help the newer version that you can download. You can get it on your phone, I believe for free. And it also, I'm not sharing my screen, I realize. Um, you can also find it um, under the video analysis. So if we do our video analysis. Um, it has the same type of graphing. So if I were to just pick a random video here, it doesn't really matter because um, all I want to do is look at the um, all I want to do is look at the uh, the graphing program. So come on, there we go. So I'm going to just kind of slide this over. So if you remember using this before, this program fills in time and position for us by placing dots on there. Forget about that for a second. I can plug in numbers. I can click right here, column options, add a manual column, add a calculated column. I can add any column I want. So I'm gonna call this manual column. I'm just gonna call it manual column one. I can put in a unit. I can call it something fancy like mass or force um, and I can open it up. So now I can go through and I can put in values like one, two, three, four. So I've got that. I can do another manual column. So we'll click right here, add a manual column. I can do manual column number two. And I can use numbers that I are gonna be not perfect, uh, but numbers that are close to being perfect to a particular relationship. I wanna do a squared relation so I can see how this works. So I have, uh, what did I do here? I did 3.9, uh, let's see here, that gives us uh, and this one here is going to be a 33.1. This one's going to be a 51. I think that does everything that I want. So I just put in two random comps. I didn't even use the video system. Um, I can actually move up here and I can actually say, you know what? I don't want the video. I can actually turn the video right off if I want to. Um, and then I can kind of split this up. So now I have my data table and I have my graph. It's not showing me anything because I have to change the axes. So I can put manual column one there, manual column two there, turn off everything else. I get my dots. I am a fan. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No, no, I didn't, I did. So I've got uh, my graph here. I can come over here and I can edit my graph options. I can put in a title so I can put in something like position verse time if I wanted to. I can spell position correctly too, that would be nice. I can put in lines, dots, or both. I like both, I'm a fan of both. I can change my range if I want to. So if I want to include zero as my, um, so I see the whole graph, I can do that. And then scaling, or I can just say, make sure you always show me zero. All those things will work right there. So I've done all of those, close it, and there's my graph. I can, use my snipping tool. So I can type in, I can search for snipping tool, click on new, and then I can click on new and I can click and drag. And once I do that, there I go. I now have a graph that, uh, that I can paste anywhere I want. So this is now ready to be used if I need it. So I see that I have a curve. I know that I need to have a column where I square this. So maybe if I want to give this, uh, I want to give this a better name here. Can I, can I, column options right here. So this one is going to be time. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I got my time. This right here was my position. Again, this is just fake data that I have made up. I tried to make it look a little bit shaky so that it looks kind of real to us time and position. So what do I need? I need to square time. So I can click on the dots. I can do a calculated column. And what I'm going to do is time shift six, the number two, that's time squared. I need to tell the computer what to do. So what do I want to do? 
I want to take one of my variables. My variables are x and y. So anytime I see an x or a y here, it's taking the variable. And I want to put it to a power of 2. So the very first thing here says x. So I can take my one of my variables and I can put it to a power a and b and c are all constants that I get to choose. So I want this one right here. 1 times my time, okay, so that means I don't have a, essentially I don't have a coefficient time. I want to put this, I can put any value there, 1.5, 8.3, I can do anything. I want the number two, apply. And now I have a new column that is made automatically for me. Every one of these values is the square of this one. Now I can come over here. My graph is now because I changed name, I have to fix everything here. So I need to get rid of this and this. Okay, there we go. I need my time. There we go. So there's my graph. Now I need to graph time squared. So I click on time squared. It looks like a fairly straight line there. So since I see a straight line, click, apply a curved fit. Linear, it's a straight line. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Apply. And what do I get? Y equals MX plus B. M is given to me. B is given to me. So I now have Y and X. I know what those are because I have my data table. I decided what those are when I started this lab. And now I have M and B. I have numbers that I can now use to analyze my lab. And I can apply this to the physics, not just math, which is Y equals MX plus B. I can now do the physics. All right, so this is how I use the graphical analysis programs. I can download this program without the video analysis. I can use the video analysis link that I have on Google Classroom, or you can put it on your phone for free. And it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to figure out how to navigate on your little screen instead of using the big screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Excel, and that should give you all the options you would need uh, to do any kind of linearization using the computer to help. Now, if you do not want to use graphical analysis because you don't have the program, you don't like the program, um, you can always just use a simple Excel spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a column for time, a column for position. I'm going to put in values of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to put in some values that I know are going to produce a relationship that is a squared relationship, an x squared relationship. So that means that my position cannot be linear with time. So I need to make sure my position increases at a rate that is faster than time. So I go from a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I need to make sure that my position increases at a greater rate. So I'm going to... Uh, make up some numbers here. I'm going to go with uh, maybe a 1.1. Let's see. We'll do, uh, let's see. We'll do a, a 2. We'll do a, uh, let's see. We'll do a, a 7.9. We'll do, a, what do we got there? We'll do a 19. We'll do a, let's see here. We do 33, we'll go 33.1, and then we'll go with a 51, right? So numbers that should give us a pretty good looking graph, but numbers that aren't perfect. We don't want to practice using perfect numbers because if we're doing a real lab, we want to see what everything's going to look like. So first thing I need is I need to make a graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and highlight. And I intentionally put my independent first. It just makes everything easier on me. I'm going to insert. I'm going to come over here to charts. And right here, all the little dots, insert, scatter, X, Y. That's what I want. I want X versus Y. I click on the down arrow. I would like dots and line, I'm sorry, dots with lines connecting them. So nice straight line segments. I can see everything kind of pop up down there. I can always try out different things if I want. I like dots and straight lines, right? Even if I did something that's kind of smooth, 
uh, that's kind of got a line of best fit put in there. That's fine. That's all fine. I like dots in straight lines. So I'm going to click on that. All right now, I if I'm just doing data analysis, I can see the nice squared relationship and I can continue on. If I wanted to put this into a lab, I can double click up here and I can put in a title. So I could put in a position versus time as a title, dependent versus independent. I always have to think about how to do this. I can click on here and I can click on, uh, let's see, double plus sign, axis titles, so I can click on axis titles and I can put in across the bottom, I have there we go. I have time measured in seconds. So I could do that. And I can, I can do the same thing over here. I can put in position measured in meters, perhaps. And so now I can do, um, if I do a quick search snipping tool, once I open up new, if I want, I can simply say, okay, I want to grab this right here. And now I can copy and paste this to whatever. And now I have a graph that has a title, labels, units, labels, units, my dots, my numbers, everything's there. So I can use that if needed. All right, now let's continue on here. So I see what the relationship is, right? I see that it's a squared relationship. I can move this over if I need to. I can close this if I want to. So, <laughs> pardon me, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to make a new column. I need to change this to a squared. I know that from my, my sheet that shows the relationship. So I need to take this right here. And what I need to do is I need to square this. So I need this column right here. I find the best way to do this is to simply copy. So I just did a control C. I can always right click and hit uh, copy. Here we go. And I can paste this anywhere. I don't have to paste it side to side. I don't have to paste it down here. So just because I'm going to intentionally paste it right here, random spot, boom, right there. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do time squared, shift six, two. So I got a time squared column and I still have my position column. Now I need to square each of these. I can either do it in my head and if the numbers are nice, zero, one, two, three, four, and five, I can square those in my head rather easily. But what if I don't have easy numbers? No problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight my first cell and I'm going to tell my Excel sheet the mathematical process I want done to this first cell. So I put an equal sign. That's going to do a calculation for me. What do I want to do? I want to square this one right here. What is this? This is A2. A2. So I literally type in A2 and you'll see it gets a weird color. You can see that it's highlighted. What do I want to do to A2? Shift six is the power button, two, and I hit enter, and it just says zero. When I highlight it, look up here. It tells me what is being calculated, A2 squared. Now, I don't have to type that in ever. What I can do is I can click and I can drag down, and the nice thing about Excel is that when I do that, I can come up here, I click on fill down, and it takes whatever I have here and it fills it down, and the nice thing is that Excel uses some intelligence and it says, you know what, if we're going down, let's go down to A3, A4, A5. And so A2, A3, A4, A5 will all match up. So fill down. I expected one squared, two squared, three, four, and five squared. It works. It matches. Nothing has changed in my graph, but it works. So now I have a new set of data. Again, I intentionally put it in some weird random spot. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. Now click and highlight back up to insert, back up to charts, back up to the one I like, click, and there I go. I intentionally picked numbers that weren't perfect, so it looks like there's a little slight wobble to my line. That's good, because that's what I'd see normally, right? So I now have a new graph, and I already showed you once. I can change the title. I can add in axes titles. I can do all of that if I want to do a copy and paste, all right? Now, if I want this takes me a second to remember. Uh, trend line, trend line, more options. Yes, there we go. So 
more options. I can decide what I want. I think that's a straight line. I click on linear. I come down here, display equation on the chart. I see a straight line. It's going to give me a y equals mx plus b straight line. So I click on it. Boom. There I go. y equals 2.0287x plus 0 0.4205. So what do I have? I've got y equals mx plus b. There's my slope, 2.02. .02. I intentionally picked numbers that I knew would get me right around 2. And then I have a y-intercept of 0.42. So I now have values I can use. Notice they just give me an x and a y. They don't give me t or d for position. I have to do that all on my own. But I have my equation. And I can write that down and then I can use that for my physics. So I can use Excel. If I have nothing else, I can use Excel. And with a couple tries, you get the hang of it. You find all the things that you need. And that's all that we are going to do. That's all, all that we need. We don't need anything fancier than that. So your options include using graphical analysis on the computer or on your phone app. They look the same. They have the same format as the the video analysis, um, the video analysis program as well. So they all look the same. And you can always just do everything by hand. You can graph this by hand, connect the dots. You'll see the curve. You can do this column by hand. Even if they're weird numbers, you have a square button on your calculator. So you do the square button, you can do this and you re-graph it and you see a line, you draw your own line of best fit. You choose two points on that line, not two data points, but two points on the line, do your slope, find where the, where the line seems to hit your axis and you're good. So you can always do this by hand if you have to. The computer is there to make it easier on us. If it's not making it easier on you because you're struggling, just do it by hand, that's fine. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, make sure you are sure to ask.